a big what's up to everybody welcome back to the channel i owed y'all a video because i missed last sunday's drop on um, being a dummy so i decided to make a sixers update jaunt giving you little tidbits on the team up to this point in the off season uh, it shouldn't be that long um, I'll still be dropping a video on Sunday as well, so be on the lookout for that. Subscribe to the channel for more unique Sixers content because you know what we do here, and if not, that is fine too. So yesterday, the Sixers, Josh Harris, and David Bluster specifically announced plans of building a, a new stadium for the team in downtown Philadelphia, naming it 76th Place. The $1.3 billion privately funded project, emphasis on privately funded project, is proposed to be erected at 10th and 11th and Market, where the current fashion district, or as the OGs refer to it as the gallery, like I do, right on top of Market East Jefferson Station, the little train sta sta station, John. Clearly, Bulls are trying to make their own mini MSG, Madison Square Garden, with the transportation connectivity or whatever. The project has not yet been approved by the city, but if it does begin or if it does get approved, the project won't start construction until the, until 2028 with a plan of being completed by 2031. Harris says, screw the Wells Fargo. Um, we finna get our own bread, which makes sense. So my thoughts overall on the joint is I, I generally like the idea of a new stadium. Of course, I love the, the accessibility of the sports complex in South Philly, first and foremost being unique in, in its own right, um, as well as convenient. But if we're being honest, by the time 2031 comes around, Joel Embiid will probably no longer be playing for the, for the Sixers as he will be re retired. And more than likely, I'll probably be a father <laughs> by that time. So who really cares? There is no doubt that having an NBA stadium will give economic will give an economic boost to Center City that desperately needs it at this point in time. Everybody is finna get paid off of this. The team, obviously, the city of Philadelphia attracting new storefront businesses along Mar Market Street and the surrounding area, the police patrolling the area as well, the Philadelphia Parking Authority <laughs> making all that bread with parking and tickets, private parking lots as well. Now, of course, there will be traffic, but it is what it is, you know, you're living in the big city. There definitely has been mixed reaction on social media, which is expected. But for me, I really don't care either way, again, as it is privately funded. And hopefully they aren't lying about that. I do find it interesting how like a, a lot of boys is like saying, oh, it's not going to be safe downtown. Like a lot of these, you know, suburbanites are definitely scared to come into Philadelphia. But it's funny because they're definitely gentrifying the area too. So it's a catch tw 22, but we all know how that goes. Um, anyway, the rich continue to get richer regardless. So I wouldn't mind a new stadium downtown. It'll look very nice in my opinion. In other basketball 76ers organizational news, James Harden officially signs his deal with the Sixers inking a two year $69 million deal, <laughs> 69 player option uh, with with a player option after next season and having a no trade clause included as well we have already gone in depth about Harden taking a pay cut for the team so we don't really need to elaborate even further on it um, but I must state that I love the propaganda campaign that he has been putting out there recently with all the interviews he's been having saying that he is fully committed to winning a championship with the Sixers and doing whatever it takes whatever he has to do whether that is taking less bread, obviously, or changing his diet to obtain that ultimate goal. We got a motivated James Harden in a championship mode Sixers that are not stuck in a, we are two years away from being one year away from fully competing. Welcome to the end game, Sixers fans. This is the beginning of the climax of the saga Sixers basketball post Iguodala Drew Holiday teams. The odds are Harden opts out and signs a huge new deal next offseason pending a complete disaster where he has to, you know, opt into it and like keep said bread. Um, so get ready for the inevitable. It's crazy how like after nine years, this is what we have, but it is what it is. The Sixers are finally a championship, you know, squad or at least gunning for a championship. Is this the best roster since the 2018-2019 Jimmy Butler squad? Probably. It's definitely deeper, I can say say that. By the way, shout out to my boy James Ennis III, who will forever be one of my favorite Sixers, and who was on that 
18, 19 team. Um, I still believe that the Sixers need one more player to be in the A tier contender level. Um, I think we're in B right now. The A cont contenders would be, at least in the East, would be the Bucks, Milwaukee. And sure, I'll put Boston there just because um, they still have continuity from last year and added, you know, pieces that they really need in Brogdon um, as well as Gallinari. But with the NBA, you know, with the NBA switching around very quickly, anything can change in a sec second, but at least we are there um, and definitely can compete for a championship. So uh, we're apparently being investigated by the league for tampering with the Tucker signing as well as acquiring Harden overall in general. And I mean, <laughs> as we very well should be, because <laughs> everybody and their baby moms knew that Harden was linked to, to the Sixers while he was still in Brooklyn wearing the Brooklyn Nets black and white jerseys well, and gray. Um, Shams even reported that Michael Rubin, former Sixers owner and best friend of a thousand rappers, um, that he was instrumental in getting Harden to the team. Like what the hell, bro? <laughs> uh, apparently like there's rumors that Rubin even offered Harden stock in his fanatics company to supplement the money lost in the pay cut, but it's not confirmed. Um, and we all know that Tucker was linked to the Sixers as soon as Miami lost in the Eastern Conference Finals. It was reported that he was signed, you know, like 30 seconds once free agency began like two weeks ago. And it's funny just overall just because just because the Sixers and Morey got caught tampering last year um, and they were fined, what, like $75,000 each but mofos really don't care and that's across the whole league like and i honestly love it keep on doing god's work daryl morey elson brandt and company and finally let's talk about the sixers summer league i'm joking <laughs> who watches that garbage <laughs>